Hi, I'm Ken with Second Skin. I'm here with Ray from R&M Classic Auto Works. R&M Classic Auto Works. Yep. yep. We're, uh, we're going to spray a car today. It's a 69 GTO. Uh, crystal turquoise car, all original, numbers matching car. Um, a lot of the customers will come on in here and look at it. A lot of my customers pay a lot of money to have cars done. They have a lot of different wants and a lot of different needs when I'm redoing a car. Most of these cars, when they were made, never had any insulation properties to speak of. They were more or less muscle cars. They were throwaway cars, to be, to be honest with you. They had a $3,000 car, $4,000 car in their time. Uh, they were never meant to last near as long as they are, and they were never meant to, to have the stuff done to them that we're doing to them. But technology and things happen. So. This car's been painted, it's been on the rotisserie, all the body work's been done, it's in clear coat, and it's all masked off and ready. We're gonna be uh, spraying the sound deadening material in here today, the Spectrum, it's over here. I just used a regular undercoat gun, that's it. I like it because it has an adjustable nozzle. You'll see me on the video, I'm going to be changing it from one spray pattern to the next spray pattern in the trunk. I want it a little bit finer in the trunk than I do in the underneath the carpet. Um, back to the customers, I try to give them what they want. So I've experimented with, with products. Uh, I like this product because of the price. I like this product because of the, the, what it does and the way it sprays out, the way it flows, and it, it, it just gives me a nice finished look when it's done, which you'll see at the end of the video. Um, as I said, you know, I pan over to the car. I've taken everything is masked with plastic. All the taillight holes, the, the rear emblem holes, everything's been masked off and covered. Uh, this stuff does not have a lot of overspray, however, it, it does have overspray, and you have an expensive paint job on a car, you want to obviously keep it off there. So keep it as clean as you can, can and, and keep everything taped up. Whatever you think is going to get dirty, tape it up. Just don't even think about it. Just spend the extra time. It took me probably two hours to do all this. It takes me more time to mask it off than it actually does to, to paint it. Um, if you come over here inside, All the bolt holes have been covered up with tape. These are the seat mounting bolts coming up in the floor from the factory. I tape all those up. Uh, when I spray the material, I don't have to worry about any of the threads getting messed up so that I have a problem later on when I'm putting the car back together. So everything's been done and we're ready to go. Uh, give me a minute. I need to tape up one more hole there and mix up some stuff. Excuse me. We're back. I'm just going to start. You guys can watch. We've got these cans sealed up pretty good. We've got to cut them. You were telling me, Ray, you didn't have to run the uh, the fan. The stuff is no, non toxic. It, it, it's it's non toxic. It cleans up with water. I just when I'm all done, I just go out to the hose there and clean off my gun and put it away and wait for the next temp. Uh, the, the fan in here is pretty loud. Plus, I, I don't need to I don't need to run it. There's no overspray. You'll see when I'm on the video. You know, taping it. It's not going to be anything dust in the air or any of that stuff. So you can spray it outside in your garage, you can spray it anywhere. I just happen to have a paint booth here that I like to be in because it's really nice and bright. So it's pretty much you can come look at it. I don't know, I guess it's I don't know what 
would you call that? Like honey. Looks like honey. <laughs> it doesn't look like honey. I mean, it acts like honey, but it doesn't look like honey. But yeah. Uh, consistency. It's right. consistency wise like that. Um, I'm going to go get something to pick up and glob this stuff in here right off the bat, and then I can pour it into the jar. Try not to get too messy. I'll be right back. Thing up and go show you a couple different spray patterns on the wall over there. I just do this to get it started, and then I can pour it into the can. Some of you say this stuff, when it's all done, might look like bed liner or something like that. It doesn't have the consistency of bed liner. It doesn't, it doesn't stay as hard as bed liner. When you spray the bed liner material, anybody that's ever done a bed liner or anything like that, once it sprays out, it hardens up, and it just, it, it, this stuff doesn't get that hard. It, it stays more like, I don't know, it actually kind of acts like rubber, if you will. Uh, so when it's all done, it's, it's, you go hit on the car over here. You can hit the trunk. Well, I'll just hit it here. It kind of has a, when I'm done with this and it's all done, dry, you do the same thing, and it'll just be a thump. There won't be no reverberation. There won't be anything. That's why what I'm going to do is you'll see before I spray it. See the compressor. So if you can get over here, you can see the fender well. That's the inner fender well of the car. Up in there is the, this is the inside of the rear quarter panel. I'm going to spray all the way up in there. All the way down here. Do the whole trunk floor. Come on over here. I'm also going to start the firewall been all masked off. I'm going to spray it all the way back there, do the whole inside. That hole right in there is the inside where the rear quarter glass goes. I'm going to spray it on the inside of that panel. That way everything that slaps off the tires, most of these cars have vibration noises. They come from, it's a full frame car. They're on rubber body mounts. Uh, it isolates it a little bit. But you've all heard it when you're driving down the road in an old car or any car, you hear a tire slapping the cracks on the concrete, something like that. It has a tendency to reverberate through the frame going to the body. This stuff virtually eliminates that. You're still going to hear the tire slapping, but you're not going to feel it in, in vibration in the car, if you will. Um, I have one car, a 72 GTO of my own, that has really wide tires on it and a big bad motor. It's my father's and, and mine, and then we have a 69 Grand Prix. The Grand Prix was just recently done. We did this entire thing. We didn't know about second skin when we did the GTO 10 years ago. Uh, you drive two cars, and it's two totally different cars. It's, one is loud and fast and annoying, and the other one is, this thing feels like a Cadillac type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start spraying. He's just going to video. You can just watch what I do. Uh, again, the reason we're doing this is to keep it quiet and to give you a better ride after you spend twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars on a restoration, it's really nice to get into the car and actually be able to listen to your girlfriend or wife or I don't know, when you're done spending thirty to forty thousand dollars, you don't know if you'll still have a wife, but hey, if you listen to somebody you'll be able to hear them. So. Gets you a little bit 
bigger. It tells about, about the same distance, but that looks a little rougher than what that does. This side will be in the trunk, this side will be in the car. Living it alive. 